Rob and Anne Bagley have been married for 18 years. They have two children, 15-year-old Jessica and 12-year-old Alice. Graham and Diane Kelly have been married for 23 years. They also have two children, 15-year-old Tina and 18-year-old Joe. The couples have never met, but have agreed that the wives will swap homes, husbands and children for two weeks to see what they can learn about their own lives. What's it like to try out a different spouse for a fortnight? I feel like one of them cavemen who uh, has got to protect his family and comes out with a big club, you know. What's it like to be a mother to a stranger's children? As, as a mother, I would want to know exactly where she was going. And will the experience alter their views on their own family life? I'd rather my house to this any day. Working parents, Anne and Rob Bagley, don't go in for traditional family values. We are considered reasonably trendy by other people. We like Mediterranean food, uh, European food, brasseries, Italian restaurants. We're a modern family. As a full-time manager at IKEA, Anne appreciates her man's domestic skills. He's quite happy to do housework, the laundry, cooking, basically anything that needs doing, he'll do. It's not that I'm under the thumb. If I didn't like it, I'd say I didn't like it, but it's... it works. Mm. The only problem with Rob doing the housework is he doesn't always do it to my standards. Well, maybe you've got very high standards. No. No. Graham and Diane Kelly have a different approach to domestic life. As a hard-working baker, Graham believes the vital ingredient to a successful home is letting others take control. I don't think I do anything at home. Um, no. Despite also having to work, his wife Diane still finds time to run the house. He never believes in illness. He thinks it's all in the minds and the same in everybody else. If I broke my leg, I'd still have to carry on because it, I can still move around with it. I enjoy doing it most of the time. I do enjoy it. That's why I let you do it. I like my own space. I can just go down to the bottom of the garden and shift some rubbish from one side to the other or burn it or chop a tree down. I sort myself out and the kids and if he's here, he's here, if he isn't, he isn't. And we're still together, so... <laughs> As they prepare to leave, the couples consider what they might discover from the experience. The opportunity of, of going and doing the swap is a chance to actually learn new ways of, of improving the way my household runs and that is very important to me. Um, we're quite forward thinking and I am always looking for ways to improve the efficiency of this house. I think another woman would come in and make us all share in the duties more. So, where Does that I'm, include you? Yes. I would like to find a family like mine. I'm very nervous about it. I'm not so worried about the children, actually. It's meeting the bloke, the husband, that I'm more worried about. My biggest fear is that somebody will come into this house and run it more efficiently than I do. And I think that stems back to my need to get things right and the fact that I am perhaps a perfectionist who doesn't want anybody to be able to do anything better than I can. I didn't think for one minute you'd feel sort of any way, in any way threatened by someone might do it better. I think it's a natural thing. Yeah. The couples have agreed to have no further contact until the end of the swap. Two weeks. Okay. <laughs> Ooh, I'm not crying. I'm going to get back in now, quick. So. All right. Oh. <laughs> I'm trying not to cry here. Each wife leaves behind a guide for running their home. For the first week, they'll have to follow the other wife's instructions. For the second, they'll get to make some changes. Oh, look at the dog. Oh, he's gorgeous. It feels really strange going to somebody else's house. Anne and Diane get to explore their new homes before they meet the families. That needs sorting out. I need to clear that with clutter. 
Looks like it'll be easy to keep clean. Shouldn't put raw meat on that shelf in the fridge. It should go at the bottom. I haven't got any of this in my house. You can be upset. Can I wash this up? I don't like walking around somebody else's house. Two cats. That would really... I, I couldn't... I couldn't cope with that. They also get a first look at the other wife's manual. It's been written quite quickly, I would say. Gardening, Rob cuts the grass and does the borders. Just one word answers to a lot of the questions. What are your top three dinners? Pasta, fish and salad. Maybe it's not somebody who's got the attention to detail like I have. I like to be well prepared and well organised. I've put curry, spaghetti bolognese and anything in chips. I don't normally cook chips. I'm really nervous now. Hello. Hi. Hello. Hi. I'm, I'm Rob. Hi, Rob. Pleased to meet you. Hi, I'm Jess. Hi. Yes. I'm Alice. I'm Alice. Hi. Nice to meet you. I'm Graham. I'm Graham. <laughs> Tina. Hello, Tina. Hi. Pleased to meet you. Hi, Joe. Hi, Joe. Hi. Good to see Hi. you. Hi, sorry. It's Anne. Anne. Yeah. Hello, Anne. And Hello. This is, this is Dorothy. This is Dorothy. Hello, Dorothy. Dorothy. This is Grandma. Mother-in-law. <laughs> oh, whatever. I've got a picture of the kids, but it's an old, an old picture. Yeah, it'd be interesting to. Well, it's yeah. what Tina, yeah. um, Tina did of me um, for me last night before I left. Okay. Oh, I don't know where it is. Don't worry, we can we can take I've a look later. Today, but. Don't worry. It smells like we've got something cooking already. Oh yes, what are yeah. You on? Spaghetti bolognese. And I know Excellent. that Tina doesn't eat red meat, so we've got. Pasta sauce. Nice Pasta sauce for you. Uh, yeah. Oh, yes. Yeah, that's Spaghetti great. Days, yeah. So you sound organised. Is that more organised than your mum? Yeah. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Knowing Graham, I would say he's probably running around after her. And I'd be very annoyed if he is, because that isn't the real Graham. Um, and then he'll start slobbing out again when I get home. Get yourself down. That's great. Place. There we go. Lovely. Right. Yep. Anything else you might like? No, that's fine, thank you. Okay. <laughs> He's definitely been very helpful. I'll do that. I know, I'll show you where this is and I'll show you how to do this. She's very nice, so that's great. That's exactly what I was hoping would happen. Um, it would have been awful to just sort of walk in and not have any help or not be shown where things were. But judging by what Diane says in here, he doesn't normally do much in the house. So we'll see what happens over the next few days, whether he sort of goes back to his normal routine where everything's done for him. It just seems easy, easy to be with her. She's a nice girl to be with and easy to be with. But at the same time, it doesn't matter if I don't impress her, because she's got to be here anyway. This will be your room. I uh, feel awful slinging you out of your no, room. No, no, don't worry about it. It's no problem. Right. I am first, more, for, first night, and I'm dead chuffed, because I was got all worked up for nothing. They're dead, dead nice. The kids are brilliant. Hannah's brilliant. Rob's brilliant. He's really, really nice and easy to talk to. The house is nice. Complete opposite to mine. It's all new and modern and light and bright. It's brilliant. It's Anne and Diane's first week in their new home. This week, they will adopt the role and routine of the other wife. You awake? You decent? <laughs> For Diane, the day starts with a cup of tea in bed. But with Graham already gone, Anne's up at 6am to clean the house before leaving for work. Right, see you later. Alright then, bye. Bye. There's nothing to do. I've got no dog. Uh, the kids get themselves up. Um, and there's no housework for me to do because the cleaners are coming in. Hi. Uh, 
Jess, Alice and the Bagley's lodger, Hannah, make breakfast easy for Diane. Do you want tea or coffee or anything? No. Just let you get on with it. Yeah. <laughs> Hello, Diane. Diane's first task is to prepare her new family's favourite meal. After work, she heads to the supermarket. I go to Asda a couple of times a week and I've never looked at any of this stuff. I notice she's got Feng Shui books on her settee. Um, I wouldn't bother with that either. Uh, I've not really discussed it with anyone, but I would imagine that's a big waste of space. Oh. I've never had an olive. I haven't got a plain one. Some dried aubergines. I've never had an aubergine either, fresh or, fresh or dried. How big's a cod fillet? Because I never buy fish, nor is uh, that them there. Never had a noodle. There's some funny cheese in the fridge as well, and I haven't looked to see what it is, but it's not something I've ever had. It smells of old socks when it's grated, doesn't it? It's chilli lemon splashed fish. I don't know what it's splashed with. I'm making it for five lemony couples slices of lemon. I've had a little bit on the end, so there it is. I'll put that on there. Back at the Kellys, Graham's home to watch his new wife in action. In my house, Rob wouldn't just stand there watching me do everything. He'd actually get Ready? involved, and the girls. We well, quite often have, yeah. well, when we're all there, yeah. everybody chips in. Yeah. Right. Got any cling film? I'm sure I'm good at it now. Nope. <laughs> you don't seem to eat a variety of vegetables in this house. Do we not? All there's carrots. Peas and carrots. There's carrots there. Peas, yeah. There's sprouts as well. But I mean, we would just probably have two veg. Right. Um, so peas and carrots is a safe bet, is it? Yes, I think so. Everyone will eat them. Pork chops, potatoes, peas, carrots and gravy? Yep. If I was cooking, I'd probably do it the proper way and put the water in and use the stock from the meat, but I don't cook. It's quite a novelty, actually, sitting here watching somebody else do it. So you normally sit and watch Diane cooking? No, no. Right, everything seems to be under control now, so I'm going to go and get changed. You're going to use the bathroom? Yes. No, yeah, I'll wait until right? you finish. Yeah, I'll okay. wait until you finish. Just take my bag. I'll give you a shout if it overboils. OK. No, I'm only joking. <laughs> my dad is showing off quite a lot. He's um, cracking all the bad jokes and... I don't know. I think she's a bit scared. She doesn't know whether to laugh or not at his jokes, because they're not very funny. Without Anne there to advise him, Rob's bought the wrong kind of toilet roll. We've got blue toilet rolls. Oh, which right. Is, which is a real colour scheme nightmare. Mm. Blue? Yeah, I don't know why. I just <laughs> grabbed the packet. Yeah, blue. Yeah. Dad, we've got we a white and cream bathroom. We have white and, like, an orange <coughs> and cream. I know. And they have to go... Mum has to have white. The, the right shade of... Well, they loved, they obviously, I obviously thought they were white. So do you sit down and discuss everything about the house together, then? All right, so that's, Generally, yeah. That's a lot different than my house. Well, we discuss it, and then Anne says, what yeah. going to do? <laughs> this evening, I think, has been great. I thought dinner was great. We had a nice chat. I felt Di relaxed more as well into the house, so she sort of knew where stuff was. First night, it's like, which door goes where and everything else, but she's getting her bearings, and I can see that, you know, I think in the next few days, it'll be, it'll be good. And I'm really hoping, and I don't know whether it'll happen, because I'm not sure we've got enough in common, but I'm really hoping that out of this, we get quite friendly and we can get together occasionally and have dinner in the future and stuff and look back and... You know, I think we'll. I think it'll be good, but it'll it'll be interesting to see whether at the end of it we've got enough in common to maintain that for a number of years. I got the feeling tonight she was probably upset because she's to come home 
and she's the last one in the house tonight. And um, she used to start cooking the meal. But that was what we'd arranged, that she was cooking the meal tonight. Um, I believe at home she gets a lot more help than anyone here has offered to give her. So I got the sense that she was upset. And that amused me slightly or unnerved me or something like that because um, whereas yesterday I said, oh, she's ever so pleasant, she's lovely. Um, and now I'm, I'm, I'm a little bit wary now. All right. Graham's gone out at about half past five this morning and the kids are still in bed. So it feels quite strange at the moment that I'm the only one milling around. Normally at home, there's Rob and myself milling around and then the girls get up at about seven o'clock. I mean, yeah, I'll start cleaning and if I've got to do it all, I'll do it all. But I shall be shattered. <laughs> As the week continues, Anne and Diane settle into their new routines. Literally from the time I get out of bed to the time I go to work, I'm doing housework. I don't feel as though I've had any, any time to myself this week. But there's no rest for Anne. Friday night means being Tina's taxi service, and Tina's not been straightforward about her plans. So where is it you're going tonight? Um, I'm not meeting Ed at Asda anymore. I'm, he, I can't get hold of him. I haven't got his mobile number. I've, so where are we going now? just drop me off at the cinema, I can walk down to where I'm meeting him. Right, well, we well, you should direct me to the cinema then. Yeah, it's just when you get to the end of this road where the roundabout is. Right. Is there somewhere where I can pull in and yeah. drop you off? I'll show you where. Sorry. Okay. I asked her tonight where she was going, and, and it was a case of, well, I might go here or I might go there. And I don't know, as, as a mother, I would want to know exactly where she was going and who she was with. Diane gets a taste of Anne's favourite leisure time with a visit to the gym. She likes to eat healthy, so no doubt that's why she likes the exercise as well. Um, I haven't really got time for exercise classes anyway uh, at home. I mean, many a night I don't finish till nine o'clock anyway doing my, my jobs. I wouldn't sort of think, right, I'm going to an exercise class on a Wednesday and a Saturday and nobody's going to get in the way. Because I've always got to prioritise and I would say I come last in the list. There's the kids, there's Graham, there's work, all that has to come before my, my hobby time. Anne's arranged to collect Tina from a local car park, but is concerned that she's five minutes late. I actually asked Graham earlier if if that was normal, to not to not know where she was. And he said they do normally ask where she is. But then when I mentioned the fact that she might have been in a pub, he seemed quite happy about that. He didn't seem concerned at all. Hi yeah, sorry. Mate. Hi yeah. Where have you been? I've been wandering around town in lots of circles. Right, should we put your seatbelt on? Yeah. It seems to be a bit of a free-for-all. Everybody does what they want, and there doesn't seem to be the communication beforehand so that everybody knows what everybody else is doing. OK, sorry about the, like, five-minute lateness. For Rob and Diane, the swap continues to go smoothly. I think if I had a modern house, I would probably do something like this. Yeah, yeah well, that's true. You've got really... You have to you've design... You've got to be sympathetic yeah, to, to the, the house, house you're living in. in. Yeah. But only a few days in, Anne's had enough of her new regime. But over the first few days that I was here, every single one of you, that's Joe, Tina and yourself, all said, we would help. But Diane doesn't like us too. Now, I'm in a situation this week where I'm saying, help me, I need yeah. help. I've been at work all day, I'm tired. 
help me, but I've just come up with resistance. Only off me? Yeah, only off you. No. I, uh, I don't normally sit here discussing. I am normally occupied doing other jobs. Honest. You keep saying that to mm, me. You've been even, saying that since but, I've been here. Yeah, but you've never, seen, not seen any you've never seen that. You've never seen that. I think the whole of my house revolves around me. I'm the key to it, and I think if I'm not there, it'll fall apart. And I think she'll think, what a disorganised house. But basically, if I'm there, it all works quite yeah. well. Yeah. Uh, but basically, I do everything. Right. And I didn't realise till I started analysing how many jobs I do do. But I cope. It doesn't bother yeah. me. I quite enjoy it. I'm very happy to go out and slog my guts away at work, which is another reason why I probably don't come home and do anything. Uh, because I'm not sitting behind a desk all day. I'm doing manual labour, things that tire you out, things that you need a good meal for. And I'm, I'm very happy to go and do that, and I don't have to worry about where my kids are. And if there's some catastrophe happening at home, I don't have to worry about it, because my wife is there to look after them. I like somebody to be here when the kids go out to school in the morning. And I like somebody to be here when the kids come home from school at night. I think it's a mother's role. Don't you ever feel like saying, for goodness sake, sort it out uh, yourself? I've had my moments once or twice, but no, generally I just like helping people. I would help a complete stranger. Mm. Um, I'm just a helpful person. What's the use of bringing kids into the world and then going off and leaving them while you go to work? But I'm there to do their breakfast in the morning. I'm there when they have breakfast. Yeah. I make the lunches before I go to work. Yeah. We know what we're going to eat on the night. My children are very secure children. Yeah, that's good. That's good. He really is a male chauvinist pig. He sat there tonight basically telling me that I'm a bad parent because I go to work and that a woman's place is in the home doing the housework. I just can't believe it. Ooh, poor old Anne. I think I've upset her a few times tonight. Um, well, never mind, but... She doesn't accept criticism very well, does she? It's the halfway stage of the wife swap, and Anne and Diane give their adoptive families their rules for the second week. I am going to make a few changes. I just want to try and introduce a few different things to you, and perhaps try and be a little bit more healthy. Why do you think we're unhealthy? Mm hmm. Oh, I would have thought we we eat pretty healthy you when it comes to veg. Peas and carrots. <laughs> peas and carrots. Very nice. I don't sit making lists and no. deciding, you know, we're having this for tea on Thursday and all this, that and the other. I, I, that is how I operate. There is an awful lot of clutter around the house. Magazines and piles of things that shouldn't be where they are. I'm going to stop the cleaners for the week just so that it's done my way. When you go out, I would like to know where you are and who you're with. I don't know whether you want to bring any friends home and sort of throw a bit of chaos into the, the system. What I would say, this is typical of why we don't sit down and discuss things. The chicken's burning in the oven, the dog's waiting for a walk. Yeah. There's no time in the Kelly household. Diane gets her new regime underway with a call to the cleaners. Hi, is that Val? Hi, it's Diane from the Bagley household. I've decided that I don't want your services this week, but you can resume them next week. OK. Anne's also keen to get off the mark. I you take your sweater upstairs, but if you could just oh, perhaps... Oh, we're using that later on. Oh, right, OK. If you could just perhaps run the vacuum round in here, yep. and I'm just going to polish in the lounge, and then you can okay. vacuum in the there. Upstairs. Yes, it's just round the top of the stairs up there. Um, I'll just let him know that Joe will cook tonight. Anne's working a late shift and during her morning off leaves Graham a note to remind him of the evening's domestic tasks. Tina will be home about half seven. Half seven. About... Well, it'll be about, about quarter to eight. Right. And she'll just put a little note for him to ask me if he wouldn't mind... Um, Cleaning his bedroom. Tidying his room. Yeah. I don't mind going in and polishing then. That's all right. all right. He tells me enough. See you later. 
and that'll do. Does that sound really bossy? No. Could you try to move so I can go in and polish? That sounds all right. Okay, I'll leave that for then, shall I? Meanwhile, Diane's recruiting the help of a deep fat fryer. I don't think it's Rob that's a particularly healthy eater. I think it's all... It's Anne. I think she's got all the influence in the house and I think Rob just goes along with it. And I would say Rob's probably quite lost without her. Graham's home early to get some dinner before attending a school meeting. Ooh, Graham. Graham, could you bring two chia butter loaves home for tomorrow night? Joe will cook tonight. He may not, but Gina will be home at 7.45. She will eat then and then tidy the kitchen. Looks all right to me. Could you tidy your room so I can go in and polish? She's been off all morning. She should have done that. I know it's my room, but that's what... If Diane was off for the morning, she'd... She'd tidy the room. Joe will cook tonight. Well, there's no use in cooking tonight. If Tina isn't home till quarter to eight, what it would mean is Joe would cook for himself and me. But I want to eat now so that I can get out to my meeting. But Joe won't be home because he's running Tina around. Poor lad. He won't mind. I'll give him some money. He'll go to McDonald's and they'll have their tea out. I feel like one of them cavemen who uh, has got to protect his family and comes out with a big club, you know. Tina and Joe are more than happy to adopt Graham's spirit of rebellion. My hand's not here, so <laughs> it doesn't really matter. She won't find out till she's gone anyway, so... Mum usually does all the work, cos we've always got something else better to do. <laughs> and if something changes, you just ring her up and tell her, and she'll be like, yeah, that's fine, I can move that and that and that, and then it'll all be great. Whereas Anne seems to think you can't live like that. She just thinks you can. You have to plan your day out, otherwise the place is just chaos. But I like it as chaos. It's funny. To Rob's displeasure, They're the really Kelly awesome. diet is also catching on in the Bagley household. I, I like to use real potatoes. Mm. I do use frozen chips. And, well, Joe cooks frozen chips, but Graham prefers proper potatoes. They are nice. Mm. I think probably Rob's found it too stodgy. Um, but the girls seem to like it. Um, but it's not what they're used to eating, so I suppose it will be stodgy. But I enjoyed it. It's Diane's week this week and she's doing everything. Um, but I'm, I am finding it difficult not to. I had to, I had to sort of physically stop myself um, making a cup of coffee for her, or, or because I've still got this, um, this perception of the host and the guest, which I'm finding difficult. Um, and also that I generally do that sort of thing. After winning over the children with a deep fat fryer, Diane continues her rejuvenation of the Bagley home. Stage one. Unaccustomed to having a man around the house, Diane gets Rob out of the picture. Do you fancy going down the gym or anything and clearing off for the evening? Have a bit of you time? Yeah, can do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah can do. Yeah, yeah. And then, do you eat down the gym or would you have a meal when you came back? Um, I'd normally eat at home, but I can get something down the gym. I don't mind songs I know, so I can save you some tea. No, I can get something down the gym, that's not a yeah. problem. Okay then. Stage two, she treats Jess and Alice to a midweek party. Jess, are you having a friend round tomorrow? I think so, yeah. Do you want to bring a few home? <laughs> Don't mind. Your dad's not even going to be here, so um, <laughs> if you want to have a few round. Okay. Uh, Alice, do you want to bring anyone round? Have a think about it, and if you if you invite anybody tomorrow, just let me know tonight, and okay. we'll take it from there. All right. Joe should have cooked last night. Um, I walked in and there was nobody about, as usual. 
So I walked through into the lounge and found um, what looked like a fast food container on the table in the lounge. Came back in the kitchen, started looking around, and then I actually found this in the cupboard. Complete with half eaten pizza. So I don't think Joe did cook last night. Um, Graham was out when I got home. In fact, I've hardly seen Graham really since I've been here. It is quite obvious that they don't help. What Graham doesn't seem to realise is that other people go to work as well as him, and that's all I keep getting thrown back at me. Well, I work, I work long hours. Well, Graham, I work long hours as well. Maybe I don't go out at half past five in the morning, but I work full time, and I'm not here to like run around doing everything, picking everything up, putting things away, and cleaning after them. They can help. She's probably the complete opposite to me. I can't be doing with bossy women. I should imagine she'll come back in here after I've finished and say this isn't done right and that's not done to my standard and all this, that and the other. But we'll wait and see. Anne's been to get the family shopping and Graham's being his usual helpful self. So, okay, Graham, you just stand and watch. Mm. I don't want to get under your feet. No, it's because you don't know where anything goes, really. <laughs> <laughs> no, not one glass of wine. Go to your head. Not a few. What's that? I want you to clean the bathroom. You do that dirty you need always. Ox. You going to show me how to use them? No. Whenever I go to meet Rob, the first thing I'll be looking for is a thumbprint on his head, because I can't understand any man who enjoys doing all this. He's piddling around to me, to put it basically. But if your wife was to nag you enough, I would imagine it's easier to get it done and go for a quiet life. She asked me to. Oh, God. Hands up. I'm turning into a wuss. Oh. The next day, Rob follows Diane's instructions to head to the gym while she supervises a party for the girls. Hi, girls. Hello. Managed to get off a bit earlier. Well, well we've got yeah. enough snacks because I've got yeah. more in the car. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll, get, we'll get through them quite quickly, yeah. actually. Yeah, no, I'm glad like that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, I can be loud. So, what's your name? Hannah. Hannah? Sarah. 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 I remember being you the other night. Kate. Kate. <laughs> Who are you? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Laura. Laura. Laura, right. I'm Diane. Hi. Hi. When I had to change things to my way, I said to the girls, do you both want to bring a friend round? And the, and the, both the faces, oh, yes, both the faces lit up. And uh, Jessica says, can I invite Kate round on the Tuesday? And Rob butted in and said, oh, that's too short to notice. It'll have to be at least Wednesday. So, I mean, you know, what's the big deal for one friend to come round? But it's, that's where it was when you're organised, I suppose. They probably have to book it six months before and when they want a friend round. Mum doesn't normally let us have friends round on school nights, but if we do, they come like a bit later and just for stop for tea. So it's not that fun. Come on, I can't wait for this. Come on, <laughs> 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 
it's just nice to hear some noise in the house. The, the house is too quiet. There's no life in it at all. They obviously like it that way, but I don't. <laughs> Graham's still upset that he had to clean the bathroom. When I found the time to get round to clean the room, as you've asked me, it was half past eleven then before I went to bed. And that's a bit late for somebody who gets up at five in the morning. Why not get up just a quarter of an hour earlier and do it then? What the bloody hell were you doing? Because you didn't have to go to work till dinner time, so why didn't you clean? What, do you think I just sat with my feet up all morning? Well, I have no idea. I didn't sit on my backside all night, all morning. I, um Clean the, the lounge, the dining room. And that took me quite a long time. Would you say we'd need a cleaner here? I think you could do with a cleaner here to keep on top of things. But then who keeps on top of the cleaner? The girls are nice. Rob's nice, but I don't think I'll be married to him. They drive me up the wall. I don't think he's got no go in him, has he? He's too nice. I think he does whatever Anne tells him. I think she's like Wonder Woman, going to burst through the door in a leotard and criticise everything, so... Uh, the image I've got of her, I don't think I'm going to like her. I might be surprised, but I doubt it. The one thing that I think I've learned, and particularly about today, um, because I've not been involved really at all and in the last couple of days I've not been very involved in the house, is that there are some things that I really quite like to be involved with and, and not being involved, I, I miss it really. You know, I've missed talking to Jess, talking to Alice today, I've missed talking to their friends, finding out what's gone on, uh, what they were up to. Um, I've missed that today. The second week rolls on, and as Diane revels in her new role, Anne struggles to get the Kellys on side. Final attempt to break Graham's resistance, Anne takes the opportunity of a visit by Joe's girlfriend to try and introduce some healthy eating. Graham, have some salad. Have some salad. I was waiting for somebody else to start. Yeah, that's what I was doing. I'm not sure what to do with it. Do I take this to him or bring the plate? This looks easy. Mm -hmm. What type of cheese is that? Feta. Have you spat it out yet? Alright, look, it's going down. I like this salad, it's nice. You got garlic in? No. I know how to do it because I stood watching it. Because I'm good at that. <coughs> I'm just a pure basic man. With I think. Pure basic tastes in food. Mm. Simple. I'm not don't say I'm a simple man, I don't want you cracking your jokes. Have you tried one, John? <laughs> no. Well, I've just ate one. So if I can do it, you can do it. Graham's doing my head in. He thinks his view is right. He's not prepared to change. He's just very set in his ways. I've yeah. changed my opinion, I think, of Diane throughout the week. I think to start with, I thought that maybe she was quite a dominant character that just like to do everything herself. But now I think she has to do it because Graham won't. You get fed up of asking and fed up of the arguments and the excuses that he comes up with, so you might as well just go on and do it yourself. If it was like 
a holiday. I'd give you your suitcase back to go home. <laughs> really fed up. I've had enough. I'm a little bit concerned about Anne. I don't think she likes me anymore. <laughs> the following night, Graham decides that it's time to seek a sympathetic ear. Hello? Hey, old love. Oh, they were all right, yeah. Oh, you're getting on with her? Um, I feel now that... You know, when you and I have had a row, yeah. and I don't speak to you. Have you fallen out? Uh, no, last night we had a few words. Has she changed much in the house, then? No, she's not changed a great deal. She's just trying to change me, I think, not the house. She's trying to change me. <laughs> Sounds like she must have given up now, is it? I get that feeling, but I think... Yeah. I think she set herself a challenge that Graham has got to clean that bedroom, the bathroom, so... And have you? Did it, yeah. But... You wimp. I'm surprised she letting her do that. She lived our way last week, so... Yeah, but your way, our way isn't for you to clean the bathroom, is it? No, so she, she lived our way last week and I said I'd agree to live in her way this week, so uh, you know me, man of my word. I think Di's getting on OK. We've had discussions in the evenings and we've talked about things. I'm sure she doesn't feel as comfortable as she would do at home. It's a strange environment, so she's always a little bit on edge. She's trying to perhaps please more than maybe she would naturally, but, you know, we're all guilty of that in, in other people's company. But I think she's, I think she's getting on OK. She's, she did mention to me at the end of the first week, that she felt it had been like a bit of a holiday. Um, so I took that as a bit of a compliment. I thought, oh, that's a nice thing to say. I just don't want somebody going and bossing my family around. But... I'd like it. I'd like her enough. She was, she was all right. She was great last week. It's just... I haven't formed good opinions. I was a bit worried when I saw her... Uh... Short hair and trousers. Not my sort of girl, anyway. It'll make you appreciate me when I come back, won't it? Um, well, I was going to say that at the end. You sport it for me now. <laughs> but I think she must wear the trousers. Oh, uh, yes, I suspect you're right. Right then. Bye. Take care. Yeah. Love you. Oh, yes, OK. Can't wait for you to get back. <laughs> OK, then. All right? Yeah. Take care, then. Bye. Bye. It's the last day of the swap, and before heading to work, the wives get to say goodbye to their adopted families. So you had a good time, Anne? It's, it's certainly been different. I guess it's harder for you coming here, because I think mums miss their kids more than kids miss their mums. Yeah, um, I mean, like, the girls, and, and you and Joe have still got your dad and still got your house, yeah. so it's your familiar surroundings, whereas it's a complete change for us mums. <laughs> I had to sort of make my changes and I wasn't quite sure how that would go down. It's gone down all right. Mm. It's gone down all right with you and Joe. Mm. Don't know about it with your dad, though. Oh, he'll get over it. <laughs> Is he always like that? Yeah. How does your mum put up with him? She just, like, jokes back. All right, then. Nice Thanks. to have met you. Yeah, and you. Bye. Bye. Bye, Anne. And you, Jess. And you. Later that night, the two couples reunite to discuss their experience and what they may have learned. Oh, the smiling, so they must be all right. <laughs> yeah. Hello. Hiya. You all right? Hi. You cold? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God, it's very good. Oh.
Yeah, all right, then. You don't want to keep Graham, then, Anne. Oh, yeah, Graham. All right, then. All right, all right. I seem to know you're already. I just didn't know what you look like. Yeah. Diane. Hello. Oh, yeah. She was quite like I expected her to be, to be honest. Um, to start with, she seemed to be very defensive last night. Nobody seems to know what anybody else is oh, doing. Oh, I know. I know exactly what everybody's doing yeah. in my house. I don't think she views herself the way we were viewing her. Oh, that boss again. <laughs> I mean, I've written down here that Graham's understanding is that Diane's duty is to take care yeah. of all the domestic chores throughout the house and to deal with any childcare issues. Graham's quite a strange man. He's, he's quite insecure, I think. Um, he constantly needed to prove he was a man. Right, I'm the leader, if you like, and Diane's a very close second. Like running a business, I just delegate the work, and if Diane wants to do everything, that's great, as long as it's being done right. Last night, when it, when Graham's was started, and, and I could feel, like, the tensions rising again, I thought Rob would step in and sort of say something, and he just sat there. I didn't feel that I wasn't supporting you. I thought you were doing quite well, to be honest, but I didn't consciously notice that. Maybe there's, there's there's a chance that we could we could all learn something off each other. That's that's the whole thing about life is learning off each other, really, isn't it? Mm. Um, I'm sure she won't learn anything off us, but <laughs> well, not, not I don't think anyway. she'd want to learn anything no. off us. I actually think we spend a lot more quality time as a family than than the Kellys do. Yeah. I would like to see Anne again. I got... I'm, I'm not bothered one way or the other, really. I'd like the kids to mix. Funnily enough, I got quite attached to her while she was here. I, in, in a nice sort of... nice sort of way. We haven't got enough in common to remain friends. Not really. That's going to be nice, getting back to normal now. A few days later, Graham called Anne to apologise for upsetting her and to invite the Bagleys for a drink with himself and Diane. His offer was politely declined.